When he's again. Oh, that was a nice yeah. left hand. Like back. Final seconds of the spin. Oh! oh! Isa sa may touring natin na magaling na Pinoy Boxer itong tubong si Bunga sa Cebu City. Ngunit sa ngayon ay naninirahan na sa Redwood City sa California, USA. Ito ay ang IBS Super Flyweight Champion mga tol na si Bruno Escalante. May tangkad na 5-2 na lumalaban sa Super Flyweight Division na may 17 wins at 7 knockouts sa kanyang katpada kung saan lahat ng kanyang laban ay ginanap sa Amerika. Matapos na itala ni Bruno Escalante ang tatlong magkasunod na impresibong panalo mga tol sa Amerika na bigyan agad ito ng isang magandang laban para sa titulo. Nakatapat ni Escalante ang pinakamalakas na undefeated champion ng Romanya na si Alexandro Marin na may tangkad na 5-9 at may 18 wins, walang talo at may 11 knockouts sa kanyang kartada na naninirahan na sa Maryland sa Amerika. Isang mabigat na laban ito sa ating Pinoy na si Bruno mga tol dahil maliban na si Marin ay wala pang talo, isa itong IBO International Super Flyweight Champion. Kaya naman sa kanilang face-off, minaliit na kaagad nitong si Marin ang ating pambato na si Bruno kung saan inilagay ng Romanian ang kanyang kamay sa bandang ulo ni Escalante na para bang sinasabi napakaliit naman itong Pinoy na aking kalaban kung saan talagang hindi ito nagustuhan ni Kabayan kaya sa galit na itulak nito ang hambog na si Marin. Sa laban ng Escalante vs. Marin ay nakataya dito ang bakanting IBF Intercontinental Flyweight title sa laban na ginanap sa Forum Englewood sa California, USA. Sa round 1 pa lang mga tol, nagpakawala na kaagad ng mga kombinasyon itong mas matangkad na si Marin habang ang Pinoy na si Escalante naman ay humahanap muna ng magandang timing paano pasukin ang mahabang galamay ng kalaban. Nice uh, right cross. And that's the end of round. Dito sa round 2 mga tol, mga jab at straight ang pinakawalan ni Marin upang kontrolin ang distansya gamit ang kanyang height and reach advantage ngunit na ipatama din ni Kabayan ang kanyang mga counters. So, it's quick but you're right, some of the punches have not been affected just yet. Oh, that was a pretty good one, sure about that. I think it, it might have been Marin's, he was the one sort of pointing to it. Maybe he was just being helped. Uh, the undercard of Sean Porter, Danny, Danny Garcia. Garcia. We haven't talked about that yes. undercard tonight. Who do you like? I think it's a toss-up. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go I with Porter by decision. Huh. Likewise. Just, just on, huh. you know, as long as they don't have the same judges that judge the... the <laughs> Hold on. Well, Moren is starting to really yes, open yeah. up yeah, and affecting Bruno Escalante. And he's doing it out of the southpaw stance. Oh, no. Pressure of Sean Porter. You see Marin now crouching down on the inside, digging to the body. That might be the way to really open. Listen in mind, Escalante in 21 fights has only scored seven stoppages, so he's not really that much of a puncher. You see how low he got down? Yeah. When he we'll talk about this in the gym. When you're going to be a taller fighter getting inside, they always say make... Good, left hand by Escalante. Sa round 4 mga tol, sabayan na ang dalawang boxers kung saan medyo alam na ng Pinoy paano pasukin itong matangkad na kalaban. Oh, he just slipped with that hook. Oh, there you go. Bunch of heads will go to a technical decision. And Steve, if that punch did produce that cut and this fight is stopped because of that cut, then it's a TKO victory yeah. for Escalante. So Escalante is emboldened in round number four, having the best moments of his fights. Guys, what are your scorecards? I have it 39-37, Marin. Yeah, I have three rounds. Yeah. Fifth round. Escalante seems a little bit more willing to trade inside the pocket. At least in the second yeah. half of the round. I thought he was soundly outworked over the first half of the round. This particular frame. Yeah, I think this round five. Tuloy ang action dito sa round six mga tol, kung saan hindi na gaano nagamit ng Romanian ang kanyang tangkad dahil dikita na ang laban. Marin letting his hands go, Escalante. I think this is going to be another one of those rounds 
Like this, though, I do think Morin had landed the majority of hard, heavy, clean shots in this round. I, when he lets his hands yeah, go, just, but he's but he's let his hands go and spot Steve. And but, when, but, when he's not letting his hands go, he's being outboxed yeah, by Escalante. I have to be, I'd be honest. I wish Escalante would punch a little bit more. Right. There's too many dead spots for him offensively. I agree. And I think Morin is winning this round. Yeah. I I'm, just, I'm just saying I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if at least one of the official judges scores this round for Escalante. Sa round 7, mga pulo mataki itong si Bruno dahil ramdam na nitong pagod na ang mas matangkad na si Marin. Whenever he has Escalante in, just touching him. He's really digging with those body shots. A lot of Escalante's defense when he's a Oh, that was a nice was left hand by And smiles at him. Oh, and there's another, another one. one. Uh, don't smile, dude. Do something back. <laughs> Oh. If you're going to smile, be like Lulu Houghton and oh, smile on the oh, attack. Good left hand again. Corner told him about a round or two ago, don't go for the knockout. You Tuloy ang action dito sa round 8 pang atol na talagang dikitan lang ang laban. At napahanga ang lahat ng mga nanonood sa pinakitang tapang ng mas maliit na Pinoy. In the last 90 seconds of round 7, you figured you'd see a more aggressive Bruno Escobar. Gift decision in, in your opinion. Against Olguin, yes. In his last fight, and Olguin is a guy. Who, now, in, in the fight with Olguin, I didn't see that. Why do you think Olguin deserved that decision? Well, did, I just thought he outworked him. I, yeah, I think so the last six rounds, he simply... Mas maganda ang mga naipatama ng Pinoy na si Escalante dito sa round 9 mga tol, ngunit nagpakita din ang tibay itong Romanian kahit bistadong pagod na sa laban. Aggressive Escalante here against Alexander Marin who for the most... during this round nine because Marin is, is not landing with regularity. Ne not necessarily all that close on the cards. Round Yeah, I agree. Escalante needed to fight with the uh, enthusiasm that Marin is fighting at, and Marin could use some of the pro seasoning yeah. that Escalante has. So there you have it. Nine. Dito sa round 10 mga tol, duguan at pagod na itong Romanian na tinarget ang bodega ng Pinoy. Ngunit talagang marami ang humahanga sa pinakitang tapang ng maliit na Pinoy at naging usap-usapan ito sa Amerika. minute of this bout and Doug I think this is the classic example of why you shouldn't judge a fight by blood exactly yeah yeah the man whose face is clean has been soundly at work and I believe is worth you need to go into overdrive he has less than 40 seconds Alexander Marin Escalante now coming on. Marin trying to fight back. Final seconds of what's been. Oh! Mula sa kombinasyon ni Escalante, bumagsak si Marin, ngunit hindi ito binilangan ng referee. Fight back. Final seconds of what's been. Oh! Well, it's a slip. It's a slip and, well, at least they got the crowd going. Yeah, exactly. It gave the crowd a jolt. something. For your winner by split decision, he is now the IBS Super Flyweight Intercontinental Champion. And still undefeated, Alexandro. Pagkatapos ng laban mga tol, nagulat ang mga fans na natalo si Kabayan sa digit lang na split decision. Sa inyo namang score sa laban mga tol, pag-usapan na lang natin yan sa baba at salamat sa inyong suporta. Lagi mong sundan, huwag magpapahuli. Pag-usapan ni Bakbakan, balita niya at laban. Mga Pinoy na di nagpapagapi. Salamat sa mga suporta na lagi nandyan.